Yo, we are back with the last vlog of this series where I'm gonna show you our final and most highly anticipated excursion, the Amazon Rainforest. About half of Ecuador lies in the Amazon, and in this episode, you will see all of our adventures through this majestic landscape. We first traveled to the beautiful waterfall you see in the background, and then went through a city called Coca. We went on a toxic tour that outlined the harmful impacts of petroleum mining, and finally, we stayed with a Quechua community called Mushu Yakta, where we explored and learned about their indigenous way of living. Vamos a comer bugs. ¿Tú también? Mira. It wasn't bad. No, it was actually delicious. It's the idea. I did it. I, um, I can't. It honestly wasn't terrible. No, it wasn't awful. Like, if I had to eat that for the rest of my life, like, I'd get used to it. I think I just have to get over the texture. All right, bet we're going to first up of our toxic tour in the Amazon. Going to look at um, the effects of petroleum mining in Ecuador. Let's do it. Hicimos análisis de las guayabas, así que hoy en día This is the water, oh, contaminated water at the bottom of this house. Like everything that they eat, even like the chickens they have here have like the ability to just like go down and eat some shit that's contaminated. We can't even put these in the trash. We have to bury these because it will contaminate the trash. Like that's how potent this, these chemicals are. Yeah, and for 200, 250 million dollars, you're going to go and destroy an area of biodiversity where there are no contacted people. I mean, it's ignorant. I, on my part, I'm not going to convert into a genocide. Because that people are there and don't want to be in contact with us because they live well. My vote is yes for the Yasuni and point. Yes? Stuck. We outside. <laughs> we outside. <laughs> we outside. Oh, check us. There's a hole in the road, so we can't pass. I know. It's like that one time all over again. Oh my God! It is. Cut to it. <laughs> oh, oh, is it working? Yes. Oh! Day two in the Amazon started off cloudy, very green, lots of moisture. We got our way to a waterfall. Una cascada. Oh, there you are. Oh, hey. I'm gonna be trekking literally through the Amazon rainforest. Oh, there you are. Oh, there you are. 
ponerse afligido Resiste, medite en un bien del yo mismo No surge un avance que sea el de la mente El futuro incluso desarrollado traerlo al presente All right, it's the last day here in the Amazon. We woke up this morning. Uh, we did a little minga. We we're we we're mixing this uh, fertilizer mixture that they use to plant all of their um, different plants that they use for food. But no, it's been a crazy experience out here in Mushiak. The people have been very nice, just so so incredibly welcoming, um, teaching us all of their their knowledge, their ancestral knowledge about medicine about medicinal plants medicinal herbs their permaculture how they collect seeds how they propagate these seeds how they grow and how all of their food and everything they do is for the future generation so they're not even gonna be able to see the fruits literally of their labor but we're gonna head back today back to pintag and then one more week and we'll be back in the u.s so yeah And that marks the end of an epic summer. My time in Ecuador was a formative experience that showed me a whole other way of living. A way that is centered around community and harmony with the earth. Sumak Kausa is what they call it. Good living. I can't explain how grateful I am to the community of Pintag and to the beautiful people I met along the way. Your openness and welcomeness is something I will forever appreciate. I'm also grateful to have shared this journey with this ragtag group of friends. Y'all are seriously the best, and I can't imagine this trip without each and every one of you. As we wrapped up our internships and prepared to leave this wonderful community, there was only one thing left to do. Party in the countryside. Contento de estar aquí. Y esto dice aquí, otro ritmito ecuatoriano.